hey and welcome back to my channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so in this video today I am going to be sharing how I transformed this secretary desk it was just a cute little find that I found in Goodwill and I'm just going to switch it up a little bit so let's get started so the first thing I did of course was I cleaned this up so I cleaned everything um, you can use like a mild soap type thing and hot warm water to do this I also like to use um, crud cutters and I'll just spray it on and I'll just start to really just wipe down my piece this is a really good way to kind of also if you didn't prior to just kind of examine your piece and see what things that you need to fix along the way so I just went ahead and of course clean this all up so after everything was nice and clean I then started to take apart this front part of the secretary desk and then I also slid those little pieces on the side and I just removed everything that needed to be removed for me to start to paint this piece. So after that I came in and I started to just remove the bottom portion because I knew that I wanted to have a different base than what was here already so that we can kind of upgrade this a little bit and it won't have that aged kind of secretary older look. So I just removed what was in the in the inner parts of this um, and I just took those off. And then after I did that, I came in with my jigsaw and I just removed that bottom portion so that we will have a nice smooth bottom so that we can add some legs on to this piece and it was pretty easy again you want to make sure that you are having your um, mask or respirator on um, you want to take your time with this especially when you are using a jigsaw make sure you have good support and all that stuff and then take away what you do not want so after I got my bottom portions removed, the next thing I did was I came in with my sander and I started to sand everything down smooth and evenly. Um, I used an kind of like, I think it was like a 150 grit first, and then I came in and I smoothed everything out with a 200. After that, I started to do a little bit of repairing. So I'm just taking my syringe and I filled it with wood glue and I'm just going to glue close those areas that need to be glued. So I am just using that to get into those hard to reach area with areas with glue and then I'm going to take my wood clamps and I am just going to start to clamp everything together to make it sure that it is nice and tight for it to glue and dry. Okay, so after that, I just took these clear legs that I got from Amazon, which I'll have them linked if you're interested in them, and I just started to add them to the front and the back. So I figured out where I needed them to be, and then I just took my drill, and I drilled in the holes so that I'll be able to place those legs into that position and screw them on, which you guys will see later on. So I did this for all four corners. After that, I took this little part right here, these little compartments at the top, I detached this. So you can definitely just add this back if you want but honestly I just took it off because I felt like you know if people have computers and laptops and stuff like that and they want to use this there's no need to actually have this so I just took it off and then I started to sand everything down nice and smooth so we can get ready for painting so when it's time for painting this is a good opportunity to just if there's any indentations or scratches or things like that to so just go ahead and take your um, sander and sand everything nice and smooth again I came back in with my crud cutters and I sprayed it and I wiped it down because it's very good to use for when you're trying to prep for painting and then this top I just literally took my sander and I started to just sand that down nice and smooth because it was just so many scratches so I just went ahead and sanded that down I also did that same thing for the inner portions here of the desk and I just went ahead and started to just sand everything smooth I was gonna sand everything down but I decided not to do that and I just sanded everything smooth so I can just come back in with that paint and paint over it 
I then started to clean up the base. So I took my putty and I started to putty up any cracks, any crevices and stuff like that that was open that needed to be closed. I just went ahead and took my putty and I smoothed that down for the bottom so that everything will look nice and cohesive and clean when I add my paint. After that I came back with my leaf blower. You guys know I love to use this leaf blower. And I was blowing away all of the sand debris and stuff like that. And then I also came back in with my crud cutters again and I just started to wipe everything down for painting. Before the painting began, I did start to work on my drawers. So I just removed the knobs that were on there. And then I just took my sander and I started to sand everything down because these drawers are very dirty. Uh, they needed it to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, and then I was also gonna have that natural wood showing for the drawers so I just went ahead and I took like an 80 grit and I started to just sand the front of these drawers and then I took like a 150 I actually went between an 80 and a 150 and I started to do the sides of the drawers and then also the inside just to really give them a good cleaning uh, because they had a lot of stuff and mess and stuff going on so I just wanted to clean it up using my sander to do that and it's the easiest way to get that done and just to mention I also did switch between my orbital sander and then my sheet sander because my sheet sander was able to get more so in the corners so I used that to clean up those corner edges so I went between both the orbital and the sheet sander I then came in with a 400 grit. So I did the 220 first, came in, smoothed it out, and then I came in with a 400 to make sure it was extremely nice and fine and smooth. And then after that, I started to add my transfers that I got from Prima. And they were amazing, they're absolutely beautiful. So they're just flowers. So what I did was of course, I put my drawers in the order that they're gonna be in. And then I started to add my transfer on top. Um, so we're gonna do that from the top to the bottom. And then once I got that into place, all I did was I just started to transfer this on to my drawers very carefully. Um, you just really wanna take your time with this because you don't wanna like pull off things that don't need to be pulled off and everything. So just take your time. Use you can use the little um, wood piece that they give you or if you want you can just go ahead and use a scraper tool or you can just buy their tool that they have but I honestly just took my time and I started to transfer this on to my drawers you can also use an exacto knife or something like that to just kind of cut in between the drawers uh, to make sure that everything is nice and straight but again as I say I'm gonna say it a lot of times just make sure that you are taking your time when you are actually transferring this on it can be exciting when you start to see like oh it looks so good when you're putting it on but you do just want to take your time be patient um, when you are adding these transfers on so once I was done with the transfers for my drawers I started to do the top which is going to be let down for the actual um, desk so I just went ahead and I sanded this using 80 grit and I sanded it down to what it needed to be and then I came in again with my 220 and 400 and smooth everything out and then I did that exact same thing I bought two transfers for this which was perfect because the first transfer I used was for the drawers the second one that I used was for this front part and I just placed everything into place and then I started to transfer this on to my raw wood that I had sanded down so after I did the transfers, I just went ahead and started to paint everything. So I am taking um, BB Frosh, the um, mixer that you can mix with your paints to create like a mineral type chalk paint thing. So I'm doing that, adding the powder, the water, and then I'm adding my paint. And then I added that to my paint sprayer, which I'm using the Grey Co 360. And then after I got all of that nice and done, then I started to spray everything. So I sprayed the body of this piece, I sprayed the inside, and then I also sprayed the um, part that comes down. I, I sprayed the inner portion of that. I made sure that, of course, I taped it up with the paint. And then I also sprayed those side pieces as well, and then I let everything dry. After that, I then came back in with my 200 grit and I started to smooth everything out. And then I also came back in after my 220 and I sanded it down with my 400 grit. 
So after that, I'm all about details, of course. So I used the transfers to make those beautiful flowers. And now we're just gonna take some rub and buff. And I'm gonna add this to these pieces that attach that front part to the body. So I'm just gonna take some rub and buff and it's the, uh, it's not antique gold, but whatever gold I use, I'm gonna have it down below, but it is a gold color. And I started to rub that on to these pieces so that it will match the hardware that I got for this piece. And I mean, just gold is like my favorite, so I had to use it. So I also took that same rub and buff and I took the um, screws that I was need to, needing to use and I added that to that as well so that everything will match. And then after that I started to place everything back in place of where it needed to be. So I added this little part that is going to help with bringing that top piece down and I screwed everything back into place. Okay, so moving along, the next thing that needed to be done was the drawer tracks. So I had two that were fine, but then one of them was missing, so I had to create another drawer track. So I just went to Home Depot and I got the same, um, you know, width and height of um, the piece that I needed. And then all I did was I um, traced what I needed to to be cut out so I just took a pen and I simply just traced that I just made sure of course it was the same thickness and then I took this to my miter saw and I just cut the piece that I needed the length that I needed it to be and then after that I came in with my jigsaw and then I cut out those additional portions to make sure that it would be able to fit into place and I'll be able to nail it as well another thing that I did was I did add those little angled notches to the top so I just turned my miter to a 45 degree and I just started to cut those pieces out as well honestly I didn't have to do it but I did so <laughs> it'd be nice and cohesive after that, I did take some darker color paint and I just painted the drawer tracks. This is something that does not need it to be done, but I'm a type of person, I love detail. So I just thought that it would be cool to kind of take this color and paint it on to the drawer tracks. After I was done with that, I just added the drawer tracks back, again, using some finisher nails, and I just nailed those in the front first, and then I came back to the back, and I started to nail those as well, and then I pushed all the drawers in. Next thing I did was I started to add my legs back on here, so I'm just taking those little pieces that add the legs that I'm gonna add them using my drill. So I first drilled my holes that I needed, and then I just started to attach these with the hardware that was given to me and then I simply just took those clear legs and I started to screw them on to my piece all right so after that I'm gonna start to work on this back piece so this is the actual backing for the secretary desk so I was contemplating on painting this but then I decided to you know what make it all like cohesive and look good like so my drawers were raw wood my front part was raw wood so I have to have my back to be raw wood so I just went ahead and took my 80 grit sandpaper and I started to sand this portion down then I came in with the extra um, transfers and then I started to figure out where I needed those transfers to be which would look nice and then I taped those where they needed to be and then I came in and I started to just add those to the back all right and that is it that's all I did to this piece so I absolutely love how this turned out I love the color that I chose and I absolutely love the transfer I also love this hardware I've been wanting to use this I see it all the time at Hobby Lobby and it fit so well with this piece so the body I did seal it with wax but you can definitely use like a satin gloss finish whatever you choose um, I buffed it out with my Ry Ryobi buffer the legs oh my gosh love them I mean you can't go wrong with clear legs <laughs> all in all I love how all of this came together I did not seal the wood because I'm honestly probably gonna keep this but if I do sell it I will definitely seal the wood so these are some pictures from my Instagram you guys know I love to take different angle shots um all in all I, honestly I can't say it enough I love how this turned out it's super super cute if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think if you aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials and I'll see you in my next one bye